Lectures get a bad rap these days. Educational theorists are telling us that the age of the sage on the stage is over and that we ought to flip the classroom and get the learning out of the lecture theater. I don't agree with that. I love giving lectures and I love going to them, but I will admit that lectures have two problems. The first one is that professors don't know how to give them very well. And the second one is that students don't know how to listen to them very well. So I'm gonna try and fix that second problem in this video with five tips for taking notes in lectures. And if you hang around to the end, I'll give you the killer extra tip that is gonna completely change the way you think about note taking. Tip number one, don't try and write everything down. I see this all the time in lectures, students scribbling away 10 to the dozen or hammering at their keyboards all through the lecture. And they're trying to get all this information down, but the trouble is that they're not really present in the lecture. They're actually missing out on the lecture because they're so absorbed in note taking. Remember that most lecturers are making available their PowerPoint online anyway for you to look at, so you don't need to write down anything that's up on the screen. Most lectures are providing handouts, so you can take away that information. You don't need to write down anything that's on the handout while you're in the lecture. And a good lecturer will make clear as they go along what are the most important points that you need to absorb and take away from the lecture. So rather than trying to get down everything, you should be aiming to identify those key points and make sure those go into your notes. Tip number two step away from the internet. You're in the lecture, you've got your laptop in front of you, you're hooked up to the Wi-Fi, uh, the lecturer has just said something you don't understand, the temptation is just to go online and Google it. Don't. By the time you've emerged from the Google rabbit hole that you've gone down, the lecture will have moved on and you will have missed something. You might have understood the thing that you Googled, but you might have missed something else. And worse still, you might have lost the thread of the lecture and find it hard to pick it up again. The internet will still be there after the lecture's finished. So if there's something you don't understand, write it down, make a little mark, an asterisk or something to let you know that you wanna follow that up later and Google it after the end of the lecture. And don't hesitate to ask your lecturer about something you didn't understand afterwards. Lecturers actually like it when people come up and ask questions afterwards. It lets them know that you've been listening and engaging with the lecture, and it also lets them know what people didn't understand so that if they give the same lecture again, they can alter it to make that point clearer. Tip number three, use your own words. When you write notes, you shouldn't just try to write a transcript of what the lecturer has said. Instead, you should be taking what the lecturer says and putting it into your own words. It's important that you connect what you hear to what you know, so that what you hear can become what you know. And that means digesting what the lecturer has said into a few words of your own. So if your lecturer says, for example, uh, Beethoven's musical manuscripts reveal that he was as disorderly in his compositional practice as he was in his personal life, you might write down Beethoven messy drafts. And that's enough. You've boiled it down to the nugget of information that you want to get from that. The lecturer's phrase doesn't matter. What matters is the little bit of information that you're getting, and you put that down into your own words so that you can take it away from the lecture. Tip number four, try to write the lecturer's plan for them. Often good lecturers don't read from a prepared script. Instead, they have a plan with a few notes, and they speak from that. Now, what you can do as a student taking notes in a lecture is try to write down a version of the plan that the lecturer has made. So a good strategy is to try and boil down that hour long lecture into perhaps half a dozen key points, each of which will have some more information attached to it that reflects the structure of the lecture and the important messages that you've understood from it. But the aim is not just to get a lot of information, Lectures aren't about information, they're about understanding. And you should try and leave the lecture with a clear understanding of what the lecturer has said. Tip number five, 
summarise afterwards. The lecture doesn't end when the lecturer says the last word and shuffles their papers at the podium. You can go back to your lecture notes afterwards, make sure you've understood, make sure you understand what the key points are in the lecture. If you've got a friend who skipped the lecture, you can explain to them what was in the lecture. That's a really good way of making sure that you understand it, that it's really gone in. If you can summarise an hour-long lecture in five or ten minutes, in five or ten key points, then there's a good chance that you've really understood it. And remember, it's not just information that you're seeking in a lecture, it's understanding. So here's the bonus tip that I hope will change the way you think about taking lecture notes. When I was younger, someone told me that uh, you should always take a camera with you when you go travelling. But the point of taking a camera with you isn't to get great pictures. It's to cultivate a discipline of looking so that you really notice the things that you see when you're travelling. Now, if you get great pictures, that's wonderful and they make a great souvenir, but that's really almost like a byproduct of carrying the camera around with you. The point of the camera is to teach you how to look. I think it's the same with lecture notes. Lecture notes are a great way of recording what you've heard. They're a reference that you can go back to to get information from. If you have to revise the content of the lecture for an exam, they're going to be a great revision aid. But really, all those things are kind of beside the point. The point of lecture notes, the real advantage of them, is that they cultivate a discipline of attention. They teach you how to listen to a lecture how to digest the lecture so that you can take away the important points, the key ideas, the takeaway messages. And they do this even if you never look at them again. So stop thinking of lecture notes as a record of information and start thinking of them as a tool for understanding. That way you'll follow lectures better, you'll enjoy them more and you'll have better lecture notes in the end as well.